Hey everyone. All right, so Kobe Code asks, "It's possible to grow up fast and be a successful web developer by self-taught learning, without spending money on boot camps or having a CS degree?" Question by a person who haven't too much resources. Okay, so basically, can you can you accelerate your path to become a developer if you are self-taught? So, short answer is absolutely. Keep in mind, a CS degree minimum usually people will go for a four-year degree, and often that ends up taking most people four and a half to five years. So, five years in comparison to a boot camp, usually you'll find kind of a mix um, between good boot camps that will take usually if it's full time, um, I would say three to six months, and then. Then you have kind of your your self-taught learning, right? So I'm gonna we're gonna put the CS degree aside if you're if you're going for speed. Um, a boot camp is about that accelerated learning. So basically, should should you? Yeah, I guess that's a good question. But can you go as fast or even faster um, at getting a position as a web developer if you taught yourself what you need to know? So, like I said, short answer is yes. Most of the time, people will take a lot longer. And here's why. A lot of times, actually, let me tell you a story. About a year and a, uh, no, about three years ago, I spent about a year and a half trying to just dive into PHP. I thought I really wanted to be a backend developer. I wanted to be a PHP developer. And so I, I learned a little bit on the front end, but I put a lot of time into learning PHP. And I was so scared um, to try to even interview at that, at that junior level for my first time up until about a year and a half later. So I didn't go to any interviews. I didn't even put in any applications until a year and a half later. And I got my first PHP interview and I quickly realized that I didn't want to be a PHP developer. Uh, when I started meeting PHP developers and they talked about their day-to-day -day and some of the, the things they dealt with, the front end just sounded a lot more interesting. And I didn't learn that until a year and a half later. So, one, when you get your first project up, start applying. Start applying early. Because the interview process and the people you talk to during that interview process are going to be incredibly enlightening for solidifying your path as you continue applying for jobs and just really figuring out what type of development work you want to do. So one, interview early, um, or at least apply early. Um, that'll also give you a feel for if you just are getting so many technologies and frameworks thrown in front of you and you don't really know what to learn. If you're trying to get a job in your local area, when you start applying, you're going to notice a lot of consistencies and common frameworks and languages you need to pick up in order to get the jobs in your area. So that will, just the job postings alone will help solidify your path. So interview early, apply early. Number two, you need to solidify that path. Um, and a lot of people don't know, they, they want to code, right? But they don't know what that means. They, there are so many different avenues and journeys to becoming a developer and so many different types of developers. And so they need to work on solidifying the type of job that they want to aim for. Because you can't really solidify a good schedule, a day-to-day -day schedule that will help you, that will help accelerate your growth if you don't even know what type of developer you want to become. So just sign up for a cheap online learning course. You can even just find free YouTube videos, but create apps. Uh, try creating a mobile app. Try creating um, a landing page. Try creating a login system. Just try creating different apps that solve different problems and explore different technologies. Um, and I wouldn't dive too deep into any of the apps. Um, in fact, this is where 
I would say, and I usually go against this, but this is where I would say take advantage of these courses holding your hand throughout the course. Let them guide you through the project. Because right now you're just trying to figure out, do you enjoy this type of work? Um, do you enjoy building these types of apps? So once you kind of have a feel for what you want to do, uh, for example, I realized that I wanted to dive into the front end. Um, I thought I hated CSS, but once I got more comfortable with it, I loved the front end. I absolutely loved it, and that's why I stick to the front end uh, mainly to this day. But it wasn't until I solidified that that I was able to come up with a daily schedule for myself to accelerate that learning. So build a few apps, build a few projects, figure out what type of coding you want to do, what type of um, languages you want to work with. Then there are so many different guides, articles, videos, um, just you can find so much with a simple Google search to lit like literally step-by-step -step developers will give you their experience, exactly what they did, all the mistakes they made in getting their first position. And so just start researching, look up, uh, try to find mentors on YouTube and online and uh, just do what they do, do what they did or what they recommend. Um, but more importantly, once you kind of solidify that path, you know what job you want to get, um, you find a mentor, um, you need to kind of solidify how you are going to learn what you need to know in order to get that position. So. Here's where you can start speeding up your process a little bit more, and the first step really is getting a schedule. Right away, as soon as you can, getting a schedule and sticking to it. And so that doesn't mean when you just have nothing to do for that day, you, you code for 14 hours. Um, it means waking up at a good, um, a nice early time, whatever that time is for you, just make sure it's consistent. Waking up the same time every day, shower, eat, do whatever you need to do to get ready, prime yourself, and then let's say you wake up at eight, at nine you, you start coding or you start applying for jobs. Um, so in the beginning, what I think is important is to come up with a ratio. So if you don't have your first project and you're just starting to learn, you're probably going to spend a lot of time just reading articles and watching videos and trying to create many projects on the side to really just supplement whatever you're learning and really solidify that in your mind. So, you know, in an eight hour day, which is really, um, if, you, if you have eight hours out of a day, so I'm just going to use that for an example. Uh, when you're first starting out, I would say about probably about two to three hours I would put into just video learning, reading articles, um, and I think your learning should be influenced by the type of project that you want to build. So for example, if you want to dive into building a login system um, and you have no idea how to store user credentials or you know how that's handled whatsoever um, then that can kind of just lead you into asking google certain questions to be able to introduce you to articles that will at least teach you the concept of how data is stored and where it's stored and so when you have an idea of a project you want to build let that influence your learning spend two to three hours doing that and then um, supplement it. As you're learning, let's say you, you build a form, right? And you just want to be able to put a couple of inputs in that form. You want those inputs to accept text. But you, you know, your first step is don't worry about sending that data off. You just want to get that form built. It's in front of you, awesome. And so if you're going through a course, that's great. It's gonna definitely teach you how to do that. But what it's not going to do is solidify that knowledge in your mind. So then you need to pull your, your, up your personal project and just build basically what you did without being able to see a complete guide, um, the complete syntax of how to build that form. Try to do it on your own. Or for example, build a form, let's say um, the tutorial is for a login, build a form for um, maybe maybe a little bit more of a complex 
form, maybe even just a sign-up form. I know that's not too different, but maybe with a sign-up form, instead of just accepting a username and password, you would accept a email address, age, name, and a few other fields. And so try to apply the knowledge used with the project to a slightly different type of form, but you gotta supplement with personal projects, you can't just stick to video learning. So I would say two to three hours of video learning and about, I would say at least five hours of project work. So mini project work that is just creating little solutions for problems that you come up with in your head um, and just trying to code that out on your own. It's okay to look up documentation. What I would avoid is looking up um, kind of, I guess, like strategy and architecture, right? Like a lot of the courses will go over what, like all the pieces you need for that form. And so if you, you're going to forget a few stuff. So start getting comfortable looking up documentation to be able to just see what's available. And it, you need to eventually get comfortable looking up documentation anyways. But it's okay to look up syntax if you forget it. But try to do your best on your own. And that's really how your day is going to look, um, especially in the beginning. And so when you start getting comfortable, when you start getting your first project, then you need to start putting time into researching companies. And I would even start applying for positions at this point. And that takes up time. So then your ratio is going to shift. So then you might spend an hour or two uh, researching positions and applying to them. Um, and then it'll look a little bit more like the, the learning itself will probably diminish a little bit and the project work still is going to be essential. So your, your ratios are going to shift as you grow, but project work needs to always be prevalent in your days. Um, and there is going to be a lot of time put into just applying for positions in general. And so why people take so long to get that first position a lot of times they don't start applying early. That's that's a big one. And they don't learn a lot from the interview process when they're not there. And I'm, I promise you, even if you feel like you're not good enough, you learn a lot. Um, so that schedule and that consistency is going to be key. You need to stick to it. Um, a lot of people will burn themselves out. And so they might do 14 hours on a Saturday. But... and it might feel like they've done a lot that weekend. And so they feel burned out and they give themselves a couple days of break. And so you just lost 16 hours, right? So you, you give yourself a couple days of break and um, then you go into it, let's say Monday and Tuesday, you took a break and then Wednesday you start getting back into it. And when you have that large break, you know, it takes a while to build up habits, consistent habits and a consistent schedule. And then maybe you put in four to six hours or maybe the effort you put in isn't as much because you just lost that momentum. So I'm, I'm telling you, get a schedule, get a consistent schedule, get a plan and stick to that plan. That is going to help you get that position so much faster. And that really is um, not the secret, but a, a huge essential component to any boot camp. They have that consistent schedule and you just, you get used to waking up at the same time, doing the same types of projects at the same time, coding, and it just becomes normal. So no matter how you feel, eventually you just do it because it's normal. So you need to build up that consistency and that schedule. And if you can do that, you can accelerate your learning, and I promise you that, as fast as uh, a boot camp would. So that's, that's where I see people, and a lot of people, I see them fail in this area. They don't have a schedule, and then if I actually like get them to be honest with me, and they show me their schedule, and they say hour by hour, and they're, they're writing it down, and I see it, um, as long as they're honest, and most eventually are, but um, it just it doesn't look as consistent or it doesn't look like they're making a lot of um, effort as much as they think they are in their head because they're, they're still doing bursts of coding and burning themselves out. So keep it simple. I honestly would start out 40 hours a week if you don't have a full-time job and just stick to that, see how it works. Give yourself a break on the weekends. I'm, I'm telling you, 
40 hours is just fine during the week. That's what most boot camps will require of you anyways. Enjoy the weekends to rest. It's okay to rest, but just whatever schedule you make, be consistent with it. That's key. That will accelerate your learning. That's it. I've been called on to you, but you want nothing to do with me. So hopefully it will come in time.